Yo, what's up guys? Back with another Vibes. Today, we're bringing you some Vibes of Newark. This here is a light box. And that light box, you know, you can take pictures inside of it and you got lights and stuff, give you great pictures. So we're gonna unbox it and show you exactly what it is and how it performs. Let me get down inside of it and show you. This right here is your power supply. It's got an on and off switch. It's also got a dial so you can dim it and brighten it. This goes from 2 to 60. All right, so let me get this out of the box and show you. That's all in the box. And it comes with backdrop to put inside of the light box. So we've got a black, white, brown, and a blue. So pretty cool. And it also come with Velcro on the ends, so you can stick it inside of the light box. So this box obviously be pretty simple to deal with. It comes with two long handles. It's got a short one right here. Right here we got Velcro. It comes with a white piece of cloth right here. And this white cloth is actually for the inside of the light box. This is like a light diffuser to dim the brightness of the light. And we get a manual. So this is how to set up and learn about the light box. Okay, you got Velcro to hold this shut. And we've got extra pocket on the side here, pretty cool. All right, so now let me get done inside that box and show you. Also got a long strip of Velcro right here to hold the box. All right guys, so let me show you how this box is unfolding. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. This is the sides, so the Velcro is holding the sides. It's really cool because the Velcro just come together and hold it on each side. Now, I want to show you guys this. Right here, what you're looking at, these are the lights. These are the LED lights. It's got four strips of lights. One, two, three, four. And each of these strips of light got two lights on each side. So it's pretty bright. Right here, so you lose the lights. It's got this Velcro. whole light section is out. So pretty easy to go back just the way it came out. You take the Velcro, you pass it through the hole. Just like that, you do the other way, same thing. So the process is very, very easy to deal with. I don't see anything too difficult here, you know. And just like that, your lights is back in place. And we're just gonna close them up like so. Just come over. Well, we could just come over and hold it together. On all the sides. This is the top of the box right here. And on the top, we also got this opening so you can shoot from on top. And this hold by Volker again. This is your power supply plug for the lights. And here is the front of the box. This stays down flat. Open up here, also stick it up here so you don't fall down. And we can zip, you can zip this open. And right here, you got some Velcro again, so we can um, put this on the top here to hold it, and we can shoot from inside there. And if you don't want all of that, if you don't want to use the front, you can just Drop it down and shoot from inside here. All right, so we're gonna put in the power supply, plugs in here, and we're gonna put it into the wall. And there goes your lights, guys. So you have to plug it on and come on. So we got that little switch right here. Take it off, back. And now we can dim it, beautiful. Pretty cool box. Get really bright off with a dimmer. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up the, the backdrop inside here. I'm gonna use the white background. Let's check this out. See how bright that get? And now let's put something inside of it. Let's put an orange. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see. 
There you go. And I'm going to write and dim the light so you can see how it goes. Much brighter. All right. So this is the effect that the light box gives. When you want to take a picture, you can get great pictures without any background shadow from the object. And it's really cool that we can, you know, turn up the lights and turn it down. Okay, and now I'm going to take the camera closer and show you more of what the box can do. So this is what your lights look like from underneath and pretty bright guys light up the box really nice. And on the side of the box, we have some silver sides, very flashy material. So then it bounces off the light on the both sides to get everything nice and bright. Really cool box to take some really great shots, you know. Guys, I'm going to put the front of the box up. Just like that. And now we're gonna open up right here. And here is where this little piece of Velcro right there will come and stick. So you keep this piece up and now we can shoot inside of the box like so. And just remember we get the lights that we can dim or bright. All right, so that is really cool. And now we're gonna take you on top to show you how you can shoot from on top. You open up this little piece right here. And you can shoot from on top. Overall, guys, the box is a pretty cool box. It is uh, 20 by 20. I wouldn't say it's a small box, it's pretty big. All right, so now, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to put on the diffuser. So I'm gonna put this down here and we're gonna open up the box. This part, just like that. I want that to kind of take out the harshness of the light so we can dim it down. So take out any reflection. If you don't want the light too bright and you want to just make it warm, it makes it really nice in there to see what's going on. And you can also shoot from on top because you got that suckle in the diffuser inside that you can still shoot from on top. All right, so this is what the diffuser does. Let me take you up close and show you. Now there goes the diffuser, still got the hole in the middle so we can shoot from on top. There you go. It's not gonna block your view. And if you don't wanna use the top to take any top shot, you can just close it. So I think it's really cool, guys. So overall, I'm liking that light box. I think I can get a lot of use of this light box. Um, I like it so far, brilliant idea. So let's try another piece of um, backdrop and show you. simple. I'm going to remove the diffuser because we're not really using it right now. Just put it on to show you the purpose of what to use for to dim the light, take up the harshness if you don't want to. And this is your backdrop guys. See how it looks. What do you guys think? We're going to brighten up the light again so you can see. When you take a picture inside of the slide box, it can be seamless, no shadow, no curves. Let's try the blue backdrop. I want to show you guys the piece of Velcro right here. And there is another piece right there. This is what holding the backdrop together. So now we're going to put the blue backdrop inside. Now that I show you where the Velcro is holding. So you put it like so. Now, I pushed it all the way guys, so you can fit inside, perfect. And we can close the door, and we can open up this latch right here. Let's put the orange back inside. Let's drop the front, and we can also zip this down. And we can shoot from here, this little hole right here. All right, let's drop the front of the box. Let's turn the light up a bit. There you go, pretty bright, and then we can turn it down. All right, so I love the box, guys, from newer, beautiful light box. So now we have the tan color, which is like a brown, 
We're going to try this one and show you. Pretty simple to remove. And now we can put in the pan color. pretty bright all right now I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and show you guys how we turned out we're gonna take a picture close up here all right so we got a picture with the orange see how that come out okay so now we're gonna close the box and then we're gonna take another picture and there we go that's from the opening of the light box. This is the one that we shoot when the door was down. And this is the one that we shoot when the door is closed. See, carry more light inside. See, there's lots of shadow in the back of this one when the door is open. When the door is closed, shadow is gone. So this is the purpose of this light box. So now I'm going to take a picture from on top and show you guys. There is your picture from on top and let's check out the others. When the box is open, when the box is closed, from on top. I'm going to change the background. I'm going to do the blue, I'm going to do the black and the white so we can see how it looks. So now we're going to take a shot with the door open. All right, here goes your picture with the door open. And now we're going to close the door so you can see the difference in the picture. Okay, there's a picture with the door closed and here is a picture with the door open. You see we get much more light, you can see the orange better, a lot of shadow at the back when the door is open. So now we're going to take a picture from the top. There goes the picture from on top. This is the one from inside when the door is closed when the door is open. So now we're going to change the background to the white. So the white background is up. Let's take a picture with the door open. So there goes your picture with the door open. Now we're going to close the door and take another picture. And see how this box performs in the different conditions when the door is closed and when the door is open. There we go. All right, this is your picture when the door is closed. All right, let's take a picture from on top. There goes your picture from on top. All right, so now we're going to try the black background. Now we got the black background inside and we got the orange in there. Let's take a picture with the door open and see what kind of quality that we get. All right, so we get the picture. This is your black. Pretty cool. We got some background white light going across it. And let's close the front of the door now and see what we achieve. Okay, so there's no shadow, there is no set of lights at the background. So now we're gonna take a top shot and see. There goes your picture from on top. Okay guys, so I just wanna show you the three different shots. The door close. Top shot. The door open. All right guys, so I'm gonna change the subject. We have this 1975 Chevy Bel Air, and we're gonna put that inside here. You know, you got more colors. I'm gonna unbox it and put it inside the light box and see what's going on. This is die cast from Jada. When the doors can open up. All right, so we're gonna put this inside of the light box and take some really cool shots and show you. All right, so now we're gonna take a shot, one with the door open up, one with the door closed, and then we'll take a top shot. We're gonna try a different shot. We're gonna close this piece right here, close the top piece, unzip this piece right here. And let's see how this turned out. Different shots, door open, door close, top shot, and the door partly open, which is like so. Pretty cool, right?
All right, guys, so let's shut it down. So my overall view on that box, I think it's brilliant. I really love it. I really enjoy this box. Got no issues with it, guys. It's a pretty, pretty genius piece of idea here. Very easy to put together. Very, very easy to deal with. It's got both handles. You can put it on your side, take it with you. It's pretty light. Maybe you want, maybe if you wear a pong, you wear a lot, you know. It's got the, the pockets on the side here, so simple as it is. I think we can just wrap up the cord and put it in the side of the pocket. So you can always find it when you need it. So quite easy to deal with. Very, very genius piece of idea. It's a kind of nylon, you know, like a top. Kind of uh, material on the outside. This is pretty cool, guys. I love it. I'll recommend it for anyone. So, Niwa Light Studio. Pretty, pretty cool. That light box. I like it. Alright, guys. I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with Guys Vibes. I appreciate it all the time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Tell a friend. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.